so I don't know if we had this calf in here before but I know we showed you the first one that was red that did it like two three months ago but this calf's bloating again I tubed it last night and gave it a a shot of uh, exceed and then I gave it a shot of banamine and you can see it's huge so the vet is on its way uh, she's going to put a trocar in him which will basically go about right here and it's a vent to allow all this dust to come off it was either that or take him in it was the same price whether she comes here or not so that's what she's going to be here and then we're, we're going to put it in and if hopefully that'll work if it doesn't work then uh it'll have to be put down but we'll deal with that whenever they cross that bridge so and because he bloated two weeks ago didn't yeah this calf bloated two weeks ago and I, I tubed him and gave him a shot he was fine and then he bloated again yesterday and I tubed him and he went down and gave him all the other and he's back bloated again now so yeah I don't know it could be something he's eating it could be nuts falling off a tree you never know but hopefully this trocar will take care of it. If it don't, then we wasted our money with the vet. And but you gotta to try. Up, have to end up putting him down. Gotta try. It's, we may have to, cause I'll be, because I'll give him some. Red one there. Yeah. Yeah. He just hurts him. Yeah, yeah, he I'll was be, really struggling yeah. a minute ago. He's yeah, having have trouble to be breathing. Too, I just know that when I, cause I'll give him a lidocaine block but he may still move. Okay. Yeah, I tubed him last night. And, I mean, within two seconds it was gone. Yeah. I've never had one bloat this quick back, especially with the, with the medicine that's in him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm wondering, because you said you had to, when you put the tube down, it didn't yeah. immediately. We can lower this there was some serious if you block. need it. Oh, I had you, to man. hammer it in there. Yeah, so I'm wondering if he got something stuck in his esophagus, and now his esophagus is kind of swollen, so it's mm. harder for him to... What's this called that you're going to put in? It's a trocar. Okay. Basically just a vent. Mm -hmm. Gas can come out. Last night when we vented him, it, or tubed him, it didn't even smell. Typically, you know, it's foul. Yeah. But you had trouble getting that tube down there. Like it got stuck. So I got the chute about two or three years ago. Best thing I ever bought. Mm. And then we decided to add lights. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next best thing. Now the next thing is put another one here to where we're shining to the side. That'll just block it a little bit for him. Pain? Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah, I've cost him quite enough. And this stays in how long? About a week, one to two weeks. He said if we feel comfortable, we can take it out ourselves. I'm gonna be below. So we go through the skin with the blade, and then the trocar goes the rest of the way into the room. Hmm. Good boy. Good boy. Let me so get it all the way in. in there and holds itself? Yes, sir. Huh. What's it holding in the... There you go, buddy. Man, I'll wipe that off a little bit. You have to re-squeeze him. You need to squeeze now. Good boy. Down both sides. I'll let you guys keep the 
keep that part because sometimes it'll get, sometimes room and material will kind of clog the hole so you can use that to just poke it in there, oh, okay. break that down so that the air can keep coming out. So do you recommend sending him out or try to get him up tomorrow with mama? Ideally, if you could keep him some, like he can be out, but just if you have like a smaller area where you'll have better like access to him where they can't wander too far in case you need to grab him or just that you can keep an eye on him and make sure that he's still doing well. Because the trooper shouldn't come out and he shouldn't float with him, but it's always nice to keep an eye on him just in case. Well. And then that'll keep them. Five ml of this? Yes, sir. Or six? About, about one per hundred, so five. Five. Six probably one per hundred, but maybe a little bit higher. Five six. or six, then? Yeah. yeah, it's probably closer to five. I'd put him at 450. Huh? Closer probably to five. Probably been five, then. Yeah. Now, do you give it in? I've always was told to give it deep in the muscle, but then I heard you give it sub, sub under the skin. What um, do you, how do you do it? It's meant to be given either in the vein or in the muscle. Oh. Yeah. So just back here? You can't. Usually we give it in the neck because the higher cuts of meat are in the hind end. Oh, so that way we avoid. That long needle. It ain't gonna matter. Either way. Oh. Oh boy. All right. So when I take it out, mm -hmm. just unscrew it? Yes, sir. Yeah. And no. then what about the hole? It closes up pretty well. Don't put anything on it, no iodine, no alcohol. You no. can certainly um, use that. I mean, through it, over the next week while it's in there, you can certainly use that to clean it. Um, every once in a while, a little bit of room and juice might spill out. Um, and then once you take it out, you can kind of clean the area. Just make sure nothing tries to set up while it's closing. Then fly spray. Just keep So it I try to learn every time you all do this stuff. So mm -hmm. if I wanted to do one myself, you just slip the skin there, barely, mm -hmm. get it open, and then take it straight in. Yeah, you get it at kind of one of the, the highest, not as... The peak of the... Yeah, the bubble, just where all the Well, if I do it from the spine it down, up. I'm hitting right there on my thumb. Right around there. It depends based on the size of the animal, oh. but yeah. Just kind of, yeah, yeah, just make sure you don't hit the spine. But usually the balloon is right out here, so you don't have to worry about that so much. Um, so if we leave it in a week, two weeks, whatever I decide to leave mm -hmm. it, and he bloats back, mm -hmm. then what? Then that might be something a bit more permanent because then the medicine, because if it hasn't improved with medicine with an exit, then there might be something else going on. And then it, is it worth going any further or is it just put him down? It kind of depends on how valuable he is to you. Cause we I mean, can the price of them, they're worth a thousand. Mm. But if, if, if you put, <laughs> said made hundred dollars and he may ends up dying, mm -hmm. you ain't. You're yeah. losing more. Yeah. This was a this was pretty much a last ditch effort for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, with the medical management and an exit point for all the gas, he'll improve. All right. Well, um, I guess the other cabs will make fun of him, but <laughs> he'll stand out from the crowd. Oh yeah, bullseye. We'll just call him bullseye now. <laughs> Right. He'd probably probably tell the other guys, I got a hole in me. I got yeah, a hole in me. When I, I take them to the vet, they come back and they're like, you'll never believe it. They put me in this thing. They come out. I smelled where others came in. I saw this person. It was, oh and they'd goodness. be like, sure. <laughs> come on back. Let's go eat. All right. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. And thank you so much.